you know damn well that half of those people are just playing the music because they think it makes them look cool. So instead of uh, like a big 80s boombox, it's... Yeah, exactly. They they treat it the same way. It's like having a ghetto blaster, but without the, the good sound. Yeah. It's like, I would totally be all for it if they had a ghetto blaster and they are bumping their Tupac. I don't care. It's like, sure, I have nothing against the music, but don't play it on such a shitty speaker. It's not doing it justice. So you it's know? kind of the, the, the new ghetto blaster, but... It is, it's and it's of... horrible. Yeah. It is the most... And you, you find it all the time down here. Um, in the L.A. area, it's like always people bumping their stupid little iPhone, you know, with the most... And they they always act really hardcore when they're doing it. They're all in their you know ghetto gear and they're all like <laughs> they're slow folk. <laughs> yeah. It's like it sounds, sounds like crap, man. You're not you know does that get you laid or what? And, yeah. But yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it drives me crazy. Um, what uh, what makes you laugh? It makes me laugh. Hmm. Conan O'Brien. Hmm. Have you seen his, uh, been on the, uh, the tour? Or, uh... No, not yet, but I think he's coming to the Gibson Amphitheater mm-hmm. at Universal. And I, I want to try to catch that. Yeah. Um, so if you had, uh, three wishes, what would they be? Hmm. Three wishes. Well, you know, I, I, it'd be kind of sad if I didn't have, you know, some some form of money in there. But yeah, because I'm, I, I'm gonna say right, right out, I'm selfish, and you know, world okay. peace. And even with the wish, ain't gonna happen. It ain't all it's cracked up to be. Um, so I'd say, uh, um, some form of insane amount of money, either unlimited or whatever. Um, two, um, would probably be. Um, well, see, the money takes care of a lot of it. <laughs> um, but uh, I know I, the, uh... yeah, I'd, I'd say the the I'd say okay, the money. I I'd probably say um, the chance to be on a tour with um, some excellent DJs or or performing acts that would be a good opportunity to get out to more audiences. Yeah. Um, and three would probably be, um, and which the last one might have something to do with it, but probably the third wish should be in some form kind of get to see the world more. Hmm. You know, uh, on tour more. or just like... Yeah, yeah that, that would be amazing to me. Just like play, you know, I mean, that, that's kind of the ultimate dream for most DJs is to, you know, go around the jet setter style and, you know, play a different country every day and uh, or every week. And it's it's just something, you know... It, I'm not at that point yet, and it'd be nice to somehow get get the chance. You know, even even just the chance to like say open for you know for say Oakenfold or Paul Van Dyke or something like that. That'd be amazing to me. You might not need a wish for that, you know. Who knows? Yeah. No. Yeah. And, and I mean, it, you never know. I mean, things tend to kind of happen out of nowhere, and you never know. I mean, I've I I recently like I, I put a as a joke. I did this uh, white label remix of uh, Johnny McGovern, mm-hmm. and uh, I, on on the YouTube video, I'm like, "Hey, Johnny, you know, if you see this, you know, send me the official acapella." And you know, and I got an email from him, and he sent me the acapella, and then he sent me an acapella for another song. I was I was I was so you know starstruck, and I was just like, "This is great." So I mean, so I can't wait to like finish like some of the other songs and like put them out and send it back to him. But I'm being really cautious about how well I do it so I want it to be like totally awesome and blow him away because I really don't think there's enough good remixes of him not not serious remixes so uh, what uh, what's the craziest thing you ever did craziest thing I ever did uh, it could be using a, an iPhone as a ghetto blaster I don't know yeah but see I don't even have an iPhone <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm, I'm proud to say um I'm not, I'm not much for Apple, Mac, whatnot. Um, um, let's see here. A craziest thing I've ever done. Um, uh, there's, there's some crazy stuff. Um, you know, uh, I'd probably say, I wouldn't say crazy, but I remember there was this one time before, um, before I was playing I was literally like on my laptop, like rendering mm-hmm. a remix uh, in Ableton, like literally minutes before I had to go on. 
and it was it was cool because I, I was all like, oh, I want to finish this remix. I did a special edit just for this show, and I was like, okay, oh, come on, come on. I, I was plugged into a wall in the lobby, like on a table. I had like my little keyboard with me, and I was just hurrying to finish this up. And they're like, okay, you know, you got like a half hour. You know, you're gonna be all right. And I'm like, it's okay, gonna, it's gonna be really fresh. <laughs> as yeah, it possible. So fresh, like literally, like 15 minutes after I rented it, and I played it that night. And it was great, and uh, that was, uh, that? that to me is pretty crazy. Where was that? That was, um, see, that was at Anime LA, like, two years ago. It was, it was a special thing, because it was, it was, like, had something to do with, uh, anime, and, uh, hadn't even seen the anime, but the theme song was, was really cool. And, uh, I was rendering the remix at, like, right before I had to go on. It was, it was crazy. I, I was, I was DJing with Torque, so it's like I could just play the wave straight, straight after I rendered it in Ableton. And uh, it, it it was fun. That was that was a uh, it was kind of a rush. It was like yes, that's so it. fresh. It hasn't even I haven't even listened to it yet. I didn't even hear the rendering until I until I DJed it. Yeah. <laughs> um. What uh, What makes you feel embarrassed? Um. Um. Probably the the rare times when um someone like really likes my music and I'm um, say like out of state and they come up to me and like say hi and like ask me about stuff it's that 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 kind of makes me embarrassed so i get recognized abroad yeah yeah because it's like because you, you you're somewhere strange and it's like you don't know anybody but it's like seems like more people know you than you know them so it's kind of that that's what's kind of embarrassing i guess i'm shy like that uh, what are your uh, favorite websites? Favorite websites? Not including the ones that you uh, participate in. Not including the ones I participate in. Hmm. Um, I participate in a lot. Um, actually, here, here, I'll, I can. That'd be really easy because Chrome keeps track of that stuff for me. Um, let's see. Uh, that guy with the glasses. Dot com. Hmm. I'm always on on there watching. Watching Angry Video Game Nerd, that guy with glasses, stuff like that, nerdy stuff. Um, Hulu, I'm on, I, I watch. I, I go to Hulu a lot because they they had some like Zatoichi movies on there. I was totally digging. Um, let's see here, uh, other way, oh Beatport. Beatport is like for anything non Japanese or Korean or anything. I'm I'm always on there getting getting my fix, um, especially with. You know, just my DJ stuff. Um, I'm always on there. Um, let's see, that's, that's really that's that's those are the uh, top ones. Yeah, I mean, outside of the ones I participate in, and I participate in a lot of the ones I go to. You know, like YouTube and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, what's the uh, silliest thing you ever did? Silliest thing I ever did. Um, 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 probably, uh, Rick Rolling. <laughs> I, I did a live remix of, uh, the, of, uh, Rick Astley. Ah, um, okay. So, and Amazement. <laughs> and that, that was, that was silly. It was cool, uh, but it was in like, April Fools or just like in? No, I mean, cause I, um, you know, I, cause nowadays I, I DJ with Ableton most of the time and with, and doing that, I can also produce live remixes while I'm doing it. So like I have a keyboard with me and I can throw in live bass lines, throw in my own beats over the top and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. And I did a live remix of it and it was something I kind of had planned, but it was, it was silly, but, but people liked it though. So, I mean, I, and, and I never actually recorded a finish. I never actually sat down and did a real version. I just, I've only done that live. And people have said, hey, you know, what was that, you know, Rickroll remix? It was like, uh, can you send me MP3? I'm like, no, I never recorded. That was live, man. You know, it's like, sorry. It was a one-time thing. Yeah. One-time thing, one time thing, exactly. And I, I never, I don't think I ever really did that same thing. Yeah, I think I did another one that was like that where I did a, a Mr. Roboto. I did a live remix that one time. And I, I wish I had, like, actually committed to recording something of that. Because it was it was it was kind of cool. That was silly. Rick Astley remix. Uh, how would you make the uh, the world a better place? 